Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to me here, I'm Liz. And today for our next 27 Club member case, we are talking about Richie Edwards. Now Richie Edwards, his case is a little bit different than the rest of everybody because he disappeared and has never been seen since. So he has been presumed dead since he was last seen on February 1st of 1995. Now Richie Edwards or Richie James or AKA Richie Manic was the lyricist and rhythm guitarist for an alternative band called the Manic Street Preachers. Now, the last day he was seen on the 1st of February of 1995, he was due to fly out to the United States for a promo tour for the Holy Bible album that came out on the 29th of August in 1994. That morning, he grabbed his wallet, his keys, Prozac, well, some Prozac, and his passport and checked out of his hotel at 7 a.m. But he left everything else at the hotel. The suitcase, his toiletries, and like the remainder of his Prozac in his bottle. Now, him checking out of the hotel was officially the last time he was ever seen. His actions within the two weeks prior to his death is what actually raises some flags for people. He was withdrawing about $200 a day from his bank account, which totaled to be about $2,800 as of the day of the flight he was supposed to take to the United States on the 1st of February. Now, no one really knows if this was supposed to be used as spending money, like the $2,800, if it was supposed to be used as spending money for him while he was in the United States on the tour or not. Apparently, according to Emma Forrest, uh, the night before he disappeared, Richie gave a friend the book novel with cocaine. He also instructed this person to read the introduction. Now in the introduction, the author details about a basically being in an asylum before disappearing. Now according to an account in Rob Jovanovic's biography, he said that Richie removed some books and videos from his bag, of which one was a copy of a Q, which is a play, he would then put them in a box with a note simply saying, I love you on it. This was then wrapped like a birthday present and had quotes and collages decorating this present on the paper. This was addressed to his girlfriend, Joe. His vanishing gained quite the bit of attention from the media, and he has not been seen since, since I've, like I've already mentioned. As of November 23rd, 2008, he officially was listed as presumed dead in absentia, uh, his legacy cites him as being the lead lyricist of his generation following his disappearance. He was only 27 years old.